Hello, welcome back to the ministry. I have a couple different words today, but I'm going to start out with this one. The Lord, I had a little bit of an interesting incident last night. The Lord has been showing me there's certain things that are coming. And I've been telling you guys, I've been feeling like, I don't know, like I was in labor. Even right now, I'm in pain. I've been getting pain in my body in weird places. And it's like a pressure pain. And I'm like, what's this? And I feel more than anything like it's birthing pains. Okay? About a week to a week and a half ago, I was listening to something on my phone. And the person was talking about breakthrough. And after that, it was like breakthrough, 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 and so on and so forth in relation to breakthrough. Me and God have our own way of operating. My time I spend with him is very specific, very targeted. I know when I'm when I go into my space with him, we going to get work done. It's not it. me just Praise Jesus, this is it, this is death. It's not no whimsy pamsy stuff. I've seen people that are playing with God or do that kind of stuff. I have. Not to say praise and worship is not relevant. Because some seasons, when you've done all the work, you praise. When you're in the warfare, you let that warfare know. Who's boss? And then you praise. Don't get it twisted. But when it's time for a breakthrough, you get down and you get into the face of God and we like, what we breaking? What we taking out? What we doing today? But a lot of us have been in that state where we've been asking for manifestation, right? Signs that it's manifesting. Last night. I'm not always wise in everything that I do. I decided to turn the kettle on. And in that, I got this brilliant idea because my kettle has a tendency that it will uh, spill over. So I had this little jar and I'll say, you know what? Let me set this little jar here so that if in the case that that water starts to spill out, it'll spill into the jar. Not thinking about the fact that it's a jar and it's made out of glass and the fact that the kettle is hot, that it was going to cause potentially something to happen. The jar was too close to the kettle. So I'm hearing crackling, crackle, crackle, crackle. And I'm like, what's this crackling noise? And I just thought that the burner was acting up or something like that. So I ignored it. Until I'm sitting there waiting for this kettle to boil. And it doesn't get to a point of boiling. I hear pop. I'm like, what the heck was that? I get up. I walk over. That glass done broke into three different pieces. And I was like, oh, man, because I like the glass. It was, it, was a, it was a cute little little jar. I like to put little things in. If I had an over, if I had like, like a little teeny bit of stuff that was left and I wanted to save it because I didn't want to throw it away, I would put it in this little jar. And I'm like, oh. I think I got another one in there that needs to be cleaned. But, um, so I was sitting there thinking to myself, oh man, I done broke the jar. And after sitting there for a minute, after I cleaned up the glass and everything, I sit down. I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. Didn't we 
just say that it's time for there to be manifestation of the break through? Sometimes what God will do is he'll give you a visual representation of what you've been asking for. Because a lot of times we'll be begging for stuff and we're like, okay, I've done seen 15 messages saying it is going to be a breakthrough. I see it. Da, 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 da. But we ain't seen nothing yet. The glass broke into three pieces. Physically manifesting a breaking of glass. I've been seeing 12, uh, 33. 12, 33 means a breach and a cracking. 12, 34 means fissures. Congratulations, y'all. You's breaking through because you have now officially cracked the surface. You created fissures that is breaching and causing there to be a breakthrough. These are the things that need to happen in order for it to break. Glass just doesn't break. What happens first? It cracks, doesn't it? I remember watching the movie Italian Job. I did a review on that in on this channel. And I talked about the fact that the woman was trying to open a safe. But there was a panel in it that was glass. She tried to use a tool to go through it. And when she tried to use this tool... It cracked the glass. When you see glass start breaking, some of our famous and most beautiful images is a fissure of cracked glass before the glass breaks. Get ready. The glass is cracking. The official Breaking through is happening. What is a breakthrough? That is when you are to go in through a inner siege into the enemy's camp. But I went into the enemy's camp and took back what he stole from me and took back what he stole from me and took back what he stole from me. There is a breach. Did I just say breach? You breached. Some of you have been dealing with breaching in your birthing process where the baby isn't coming out the way it's supposed to. That's what's been the delay, the derailment, the thing that is taking so long because you couldn't just push that thing out because it was in the wrong position. And God's been trying to get it in the right position. In order for that thing to break through. You're in labor. The baby is coming. The cracks have already started. That glass is about to break. The fissures in the glass is already there. It's already a done deal. The glass is cracked. It's only a matter of time before it's going to fully break. Congratulations. The glass is breaking. You're about to break through. It's only a matter of time. Get ready.